Hi, I haven't made a video in a while and uh, I've gone over a hundred subscribers so far and uh, I figured let me make a video and uh, it seems like you guys are liking some of the stuff that I'm making so I figured what the heck right and uh, the video I'm making today is gonna be a generic video showing you guys certain designs acquisitions um, and a bit of fun well the whole thing started with this right here well actually it started with this a friend of my father's is a retired machinist um, saw what I was doing with my 3d printing and decided to give me some of his old tools and I'll be honest with you I'm very grateful for them there's a star uh, star it uh, 1010 gauge and it's probably one of the most precise instruments I've ever owned and it comes in this nice little pouch and it has like a watch crystal on there and it, it's a beautifully made piece but he ended up giving me this as well just recently and what this is is a little caliper the thing about this caliper is it's tiny and it has to be around 70 80 years old because the gentleman who gave this to me he's in his 80s himself and uh, when he was first starting out his mentor gave made and gave this to him and his mentor was in his 90s and uh, it's all beautifully machined and it's it's a one centimeter caliper that can measure up to uh, the numbers are almost wiped out but it'll measure in increments of 10 or I should say hundreds of a centimeter that is crazy accuracy for something like this I actually put it against not this Pittsburgh caliper but a much more precise caliper that I keep around and uh, what I'm doing is I figured since these tools are kind of small and I even though this has like a keychain ring on it I just feel bad about having it on my keychain it's a handmade piece of equipment that's extremely precise and it's beautiful so I designed a little box that these are gonna sit in I should say it's gonna sit this way and I figured what the heck I would put this thing together and uh, print it whoops so with that said this is my 3d printer notice the door whoops notice the door I actually built a door for this yes the even the handle is 3d printed on this and uh, I blocked off the top because I don't need a door that big and the door is actually pretty precise it's uh, Lexon gas glass actually and uh, I just it's kind of spring-loaded and I just slam it shut and it stays I uh, I'm working on actually covering the sides where the belts are now and uh, I should have a pretty well heated chamber soon um, it's the printer is actually functioning pretty damn well I have to say it is a functional machine I haven't had to do any tweaking to it anything like that I actually put the sides on and never had to touch it the precision is there speed is there this box I'm printing at around 70 millimeters a second and uh, I figured you know I'll slow it down a little bit it only cost me like half an hour worth of uh, print time for my customary 100 mil a second uh, prints so the box is gonna take about four hours to print and it's a box with a lid that I designed for this and hopefully by the end of the video you'll actually see it and uh, I figured what the heck as you can notice you should be able to notice one more thing here is um, my voltage has dropped that's because I'm drawing 
nearly 500 watts out of the power supply at this point because my heated bed is over voltage and I ended up putting a little voltage meter on the side a voltmeter on the side and as you can tell under load it pulls about 14 volts that increased the bed's output by probably around 20 25 percent yes two volts will do that ohm's law in ain't, ain't it a bitch in either case uh, I have a little uh, device that I showed earlier on uh, it's just basically a DC DC uh, D, DC to DC transformer but it's a up converter so it's taking in 12 volts and it's outputting 14 which may not sound like much but it's pulling out 10 amps at least um, at 12 volts that's 120 watts the heater on this thing was probably around 90 watts originally let's say um, probably a little over zealous with it uh, probably pulling out around maybe 11 12 amps so the heater should be putting out some pretty good numbers by now and it shows uh, it heats up to 105 C in about 10 12 minutes which is acceptable for me um, versus before it would take nearly half an hour well that's a pretty big jump down I should say one more thing uh, that I wanted to kind of show a preview of I haven't kind of I haven't let the grass grow underneath my feet kind of deal here I've been working on a little project on the side and this is it um, this right here it's not finished yet I gotta mount the fan in front I gotta 3d print the uh, grill for it and the brackets that hold this thing in there but let me take that off and as you'll notice there's two main boards in there I'm replacing my home server with this it's uh, this thing should be drawing less than 60 watts at full load uh, versus my other one that draws probably around 100 watts at idle so um, I don't know how it's gonna perform I don't know how well it's gonna run so on and so forth but it's been a little project here and uh, you can tell I actually 3d printed um, the the back plates on here I have still haven't glued the top part in yet I have to glue it so this thing actually sits properly like so and yeah I'm going with the green and black theme you got my two separate power buttons here top board bottom board there's gonna be two activity lights here uh, bottom board po uh, power up uh, top board power single power brick it's a 80 watt power brick and uh, three network uh, ports per three gigabit ports per board uh, two on board NICs with USB 3 over here on the bottom and USB 2 next to it as well as two Intel dual port NICs that run on serial ATA should be interesting I run uh, VMware ESXi at home and uh, this will replace a much much larger setup with just as many cores as my old setup because this is dual quad cores and that one is a uh, single octa core made by advanced Mexican devices and uh, one more thing I kind of uh, wanted to say on one of my other videos my uh, J head uh, hot end rework video um, somebody actually mentioned I sound like a villain from a movie well you never know right post some comments below let me know what you guys think should I keep doing these things should I not Let's get a little bit more interactive. Uh, my, my YouTube channel, people watch it, but eh, nobody's really commenting on anything. Do you guys have nothing to say? Leave comments below. Alright, see you in a few. Well, I'm fudging the completion time. I actually... Um, let this thing go and about one o'clock in the morning I woke up and shut it off so 
now it's mid afternoon the next day and my box should be done and there's the primary part the engine bed not bad not bad a little bit of waviness and that's due to the 20% infill I used if I use a higher infill rate that actually is less wavy on the sides and uh, there's the lid and get that marble finish kind of deal here and uh, I think I'm gonna probably sand this down and you know give it a good cleaning and I figured what the heck I figured I'd put some text in here the next cutaway will be the box and working well there it is it's finished it only took me about 10 minutes worth I left the bottom as is I don't really care about the bottom it kinda looks like marble because of the thick layer of ABS goop I used and uh, the box actually the reflection on here it's it's not completely dry yet I sanded it and I gave it a wipe down with uh, acetone as well as um, give it a little bit of a dulling with this torch there's a little cigar torch I've been using this quite a bit actually it's a good tool and uh, here we go little caliper thickness gauge everything is here little bolt over here that matches the hole here bolt here bolt here and uh, I have a custom case for my two tools that I shall treasure a long time it's a little tight on this part I'm glad actually it's a little tight because it holds this nice and snug and it doesn't rattle around much and it protects my tools and I have a little toolbox tiny little toolbox that holds some precious tools so leave a comment below subscribe tell me what you think am I blowing smoke up my own ass let me know Oh, and you can also visit my blog. It's engineer d engineer3d.ddns.net again. So, subscribe. Don't forget. Helps me a bit. Bye.